secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go me, you need it, I got it listed here. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drink. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Um, before we get into this video, man, if you haven't already dropped that like, go ahead and drop that like. Obviously, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, man, I do not know what you're waiting on, man. Go ahead and get this sub to the channel. You're missing out on some really great content that I'm dropping. And of course, you do know I have membership opportunities. All you have to do is just check the link in the description or just go to my channel, hit the join button and get to see the three different tiers and all the perks that you get for becoming an official member to my channel, becoming basically official nephew and niece, man. So take a look at that, man. Be greatly appreciated. Now, let's go ahead and get right into this video. We're talking about Clay Thompson today. Clay Thompson obviously is arguably the greatest shooter um, to ever play. Um, and I say arguably because really, uh, it really just comes down between him and Steph. And obviously, I believe Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. And Klay Thompson is the second greatest shooter of all time, even though he's only been in his seventh season. And um, I know I've heard people talk about Ray Allen. And Ray Allen is a, obviously he's a great shooter, but um, he, he just is nowhere near as dominant of shooters as Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Um, I'm going to exclude Steph Curry out of this discussion because this is all about Klay today. But um, if you just take a look here, right, as you can see, Klay Thompson has a 41, basically a 42 three-point um, percentage um, career-wise, right? So, and then you take a look at, um, and of course he is sitting at 13th all time, right? Then you have to scroll all the way down Right, and you will see tied for 45th is Ray Allen, barely breaking 40%. So you're talking about, and of course, when you're talking about as many a shot attempts as these guys have thrown up, even a point two and point three is an extremely big gap of a difference. And you're talking about almost um, two tenths um, better from a 42% to a 40%. So obviously you're talking about a massive gap as far as hitting consistently, right? But then I just want to point out one more quick stat just for anybody else that wants to think that um, there is a uh, even a discussion to be made. As you can see right here, right? Klay Thompson attempts seven three-pointers a game and hits 42% of those shots, right? And then as you see here, Ray Allen, he attempts 5.7, right? So if you're looking at it from a grander scheme and just doing basic just math, right? Not only is Klay Thompson throwing up more shots, which gives him a higher percentage to miss him, right? He is making more than Ray Allen, right? So understand, not only is he throwing up more shots, he is making more shots than Ray Allen. And um, I think that that will always be the discussion, you know, who are the, the greatest shooter of all time. And a lot of people, you know, maybe it's people that are just not really in tune with the game. But Steph Curry and Klay Thompson has 100% revolutionized the game. They have completely changed the game, the way the game is played. And as you can see, every single team are basically playing the same type of basketball, right? They are basically running and gunning. Everybody wants to be the Golden State Warriors. And please understand that once, <laughs> once Klay Thompson comes back, Steph Curry comes back, right? You're going to see next year what we've been seeing for the past five years. This is a down year for them. They're going to get a draft pick, um, a really high draft pick. Um, and then, of course, they're going to go right back at the top competing with basically the two L.A. teams. I'm, you know, the, um, the Clippers and the Lakers and Golden State will be fit fending. You mark my words. You can go ahead and stamp it right now. L.A., both L.A. teams and um, the Warriors, all three of them will finish one, two, and three in the West next year. And, of course, you know, they'll be fighting out um, trying to, you know, obviously win the Western um, Conference title to, to play whoever in the East, okay? But um, Clay Thompson is, this, like I said, the second greatest shooter of all time. I just had to go on that real quick because I think, you know, it bothers me when people try to bring up stuff like, oh, man, nah, Ray Allen, nah. Ray Allen was, he was a good shooter for his time. But now in this day and age, it, it's it's not even close. Like, you, you saw the percentages. And, I mean, again, I mean, we can throw it up one more time. As you see right here, Right, you're talking about 
as far as percentages goes, and you look at it, Steph, um, Steph Kerr, um, Steve Kerr um, is number one at 45 percent. But look at all these people that I highlight. These are people that are currently in the NBA right now. Steph Curry, Seth Curry, his brother, six all time. You got Cal Corver, you got Joe Harris, you got Clay Thompson, you got Anthony Morrow, JJ Reddick, I got Doug McG um, um, McDermott, um, and then you have Davis Bertanis. I'm not even sure who. <laughs> Let me show who that is, man. Um, but uh, he's playing too, so <laughs> that was that probably wasn't a good explanation there. I mean, a good example. I don't know who he is, but regardless, as you can see, there's more and more people that are going to start stacking up at the top, just shattering all these records. Um, and of course, when it's all said and done, most three pointers made will be Steph Curry, and second will be Klay Thompson. That's just pretty obvious, right? But anywho, um, let's just get back on to Klay Thompson. Um, as you know, Klay Thompson, he's a three-time NBA champion, right? Um, he's a five-time All-Star. He's a two-time All-NBA um, player also, and he has also um, made the All-Defensive team. And he only made the All-Defensive team once, which is a head-scratcher to me. Um, he's only made it once, but everybody knows he's considered one of the best uh, two-way players in the league. Um, but he has some tremendous records. I mean, if everybody knows who Gilbert Arenas is and they call him Hibachi because he eat up quick, then um, I don't know what, what Clay Thompson would be considered because Clay Thompson's in a whole nother stratosphere when it comes to getting hot and just scoring at will. So as you know, he has a couple NBA records. He has the NBA records for most points um, scored in a quarter with 37. 37 points in one quarter, right? He also has the record for most three-pointers made in a game. It's 14, right? He also has the NBA record for most three-pointers made in a single playoffs with 98. And of course, he also has the playoff record for most three-pointers made in the playoff game with 11. So obviously, you can tell this man is a very dangerous, lethal shooter and scorer and defender. So of course, he is, like I said, when it's all said and done, he'll be considered one of the top five greatest shooting guards ever play. Um, right now, I can arguably say he's definitely creeping into the top five because um, just about his gameplay alone, even though he's played seven seasons, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at some things real quick. Let's go over to his attributes. Um, obviously, Klay Thompson's not known for his dunking and all that type of stuff. He did, he does dunk, and obviously he dunked, he dunked, and um, he shouldn't have probably had because when he dunked, he tore his ACL <laughs> when he landed. <laughs> it's like, bro, just lay it up next time. Um, Mid-range, 94, three-point shot, 97. That's obvious that you're going to get that from him. Um, he's an extremely good shooter. His ball hands are 76. Um, you know, that's not something he's really good. He's more, like he said, he's known as a spot-up shooter and somebody that walks off screens. Um, his perimeter defense is a 91. That's, that's how it should be. Um, his steals are 59. His blocks are 51. Because uh, uh, the thing is, he plays really good defense. He just doesn't get a lot of steals and that type of deal. He's just really good. Um, defensively locking up his player, um, his um, opposition at that for that game. His lot of quickness is 94. That's really good. And then we come to the badges. Obviously, um, he doesn't. I mean, he wouldn't have anything here. I don't know why he even has a pro touch, but he has pro touch as a finishing badge. But he's this is him. This is his bread and butter. I'm one of the few people that have a lot of Hall of Fame shooting badges. Um, the only thing I didn't understand is him being such catch and shoot should have been Hall of Fame. I thought it should be Hall of Fame. And then. Um, Dead Eye, Hot Zone Hunter should be in Hall of Fame. Range Extender should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure why these things are in Hall of Fame, man. No one shoots it deeper than him, Steph Curry, um, Damon Lillard. Maybe those three are known for the sh shooting some of the most ridiculous 30, 35 foot three pointers. Um, but um, Green Machine, Hot Start, definitely, and Steady Shooter, I, I respect all that. And then, of course, here, he doesn't have much playmaking. And then defensively, he doesn't have any Hall of Fame badges, but um, I feel like, of course, you know, he is plays. He's a great defender, so you know, obviously, you know, we're looking at clamps, um, off ball pass, pick dodger, tireless defender. Those are some really good badges he has. Um, and of course, you see, he's a two-way, three-level scorer. So let's head over to the my player beater and see if we can go ahead and make this guy right. All right, so let's hop right into it. So um, obviously, Clay Thompson's a shooting guard. He's right-handed. He's number eleven. Um, the pie chart that we're going with, we're going to go with the shooting and the defensive pie chart for obvious reason. That's what he's, those are two strengths, right? Um, here I went with speed and vert just because I know that um, defensively you just want to be able to jump and have that type of ability for this game. So I decided to go away from just having straight speed at 88 and I went to vert, all right? So um, that's what I went with. Then here what you want to do is you want to max out the top three, the close shot, the driving layup, and your driving dunk. That will give you, and then if you want to go one right here to plus five. So max these out and just move one over to 27 to get five. And here, of course, you want to max out everything here, right? As a shooter, right? So that give you exactly 18. 
Then you want to go 75 for your pass accuracy. You want to go 75 on your ball handling. And then you want to go 60 on your post moves, okay? And then, of course, you want to max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, and your blocks. And that would give you exactly 15, right? So let's just look at it. You have five finishing, 18 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 15 um, defensive and rebounding on badge upgrades. Of course, this is a really, really good stack when it comes to a two-way player. Um, and, of course, as you look at his speed and his vert, let's just go ahead and do his build real quick. So you want to go um, built because you want to go 6'5". You want to drop his weight down to 187 um, just to get that 83 lateral quickness. And then you want to get your wingspan and you want to lower it down to 77 to get that three. Okay, so now let's look at it. So he will have a 92 speed and he'll have a 99 vert um, and he'll have a 93 acceleration. So that's really good, all right? You also have an 87 three-point shot and the 88 mid-range shot. And then the cool thing is, is that you have an 82 ball handling and a 79 pass accuracy. And then defensively, he'll have an 89 perimeter defense and 87 lateral quickness. I'm sorry, an 88 perimeter defense and 87 lateral quickness. He'll also have an 86 steal and a 79 block. So defensively, he's going to be a monster. He's going to be able to shoot it. He's going to be able to dribble. And of course, the cool thing, the little perk that I added in here is that he will be able to have um, a nice driving dunk going to the basket. Um, he won't get contact dunks, but he'll be in an 82. So like, he'll be able to play at all different tiers. Because then it's all said and done, he's a two-way, three-level scorer. So um, he's able to score at all three levels, right? Um, here, again, man, it's all about your preference. You know, do you want to get spot-up shooter or you want to get locked down defender? But, of course, it's a Clay Thompson, so you know you got to go with that shooting. So that's what we went with. We're going with the shooting. And then there you have it. You have a two-way, three-level scorer. You have similar to Clay Thompson. So um, this is literally the build. I mean, it matches on both levels. It has his name and it has his build, right? So let's just go ahead and test it out real quick. And when we're testing it out, of course, you want to go ahead and get him to 99. All right, so let's give him 99. And then here, what you want to do with your finishing, of course, it's kind of simple. Just go to contact finisher um, on gold, consistent finisher on silver. Um, again, like I said, it's your bill. You can do any way you want to, but that's the stack I'm going with. Um, here, I'm going with quick draw on gold. Then I'm going to go ahead and max out. I mean, not max out, but go ahead and get these here. So then as you can see, you have three left over. So I will go a hot zone hunter range extender. If you want to go quick draw, you can. But for me, I'm going to go with um, green machine, right? And then for your playmaking badges, again, this is pretty dope to be able to have that. You can get your quick first step um, on, um, on gold. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, on gold. You want to get your bell out on gold also obviously you're gonna have those opportunities where you want to pass out of that so you can have that um and then you have four left over i would say go for handles for um handles for days even though you're not gonna have a lot of handling but it's just good just to have the handles for days and then go ahead and get unpluckable um that would help you out also so i think that this would be a good stat for you just because it's going to allow you to do catch and shoot um i'm not trying to catch and shoot but like shoot out of a pass really really well and also you have a nice quick first step to go to the basket and you can dribble so why not do that if you even want to go here bronze is good enough you can do this also right so it's really your call about how you want to play um, with your clay thompson build and of course here it ain't nothing changed man we're going clamps we're going intimidator then we're going pick dodger and then we're going pickpocket right so now all of a sudden when it comes to the perimeter this build is going to be op you're going to be able to do everything anything and everything on the court so my nephews and nieces, this is the Clay Thompson build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you need to do, man. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and look at the membership opportunities. But other than that, it's your man, Uncle Demi, man. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back really, really soon with another banger. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, you know what damn I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Yeah. Rare. Rare form, yeah.